Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of another episode of Isaac and we're jumping in as the keeper here just for a regular run I thought we'd do a regular run here and we've got ourselves do you know what sack of pennies ain't bad sack of pennies ain't bad um, and we also got ourselves a sack room here which could be pretty lucrative we'll see penny off the bat's kind of nice no second payout we'll come back to that I do want to try and fully pay out that sack of pennies will help with that too Ooh, very, very nice on the item there as well, right off the bat. I like that. That's really, really nice for us. That's a pretty decent fire rate bonus, right? Yes, that's a huge fire rate bonus. Lovely stuff. Boom. Boom. Ooh, that chest could be good. Aww. You're really hoping that the chest has um, coins in it. Ooh, we did get the three coin payout, though, which is pretty good. And a chest. And... Ooh, we got ourselves Seraphim. Not bad, not bad. Okay, it's not the best of the best, but I'll accept it. I'll also, do you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll play the rest of this. Oh, hello. Hello there. Uh, we got ourselves Teleports to an Abandoned Planetarium. Uh, that, that is, that's, that's pretty abandoned. That has nothing in it. <laughs> I think there was meant to be a bunch of hearts in there, and they just turned into flies. Uriel, I'll kill you, why not? Uriel, you're a bit of a beach. And that's what I was looking for, baby. Okay, good stuff. Nice. Okay, this is a good way to start a run. A lot of money as this character is gonna go a long way for us, so I do not mind it whatsoever. And we got our stack of pennies here to keep us in good standing, keep our life a-flowing. We'll see if that works out in our favor. Our shop here is what we're looking for. See if we can buy something nice. Got to remember we've got to save money for like devil deals and that lot there. Thank you for bombing that and giving us some extra money and such. There's a chest somewhere about. Where is it? Okay, it's here. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm willing to place a bomb there for that. Char um, charges active item if room doesn't contain any enemies. Give additional charges depending on the trinket multiplier. I don't know what trinket multiplier is. But charges active even if the room doesn't contain any enemies. That seems useful. I will take that. And then in here, we've got yet another one. 25% chance to give a bonus charge. Spawns a battery on pickup. Okay, this is some good stuff right now. For potentially getting extra money. I'm happy. We've got, we've got a, an interesting setup for... Keeping the good old money a-flowing. I like it. So a really, really good setup. And then Seraphim's nice as well here. Lovers is just going to be some of these bad boys. And we'll keep the Magician for the boss fight, why not? Or this large room right here, depending on which seems harder at the time. Also, our fire rate is, is so, so nice right now. It feels amazing. Yeah, every two rooms we get one penny, and it can be any type of penny, so it's pretty good having that. Yeah, I had, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that'd be secret room. Good to get that off, off the bat out of the way with. Unfortunately, not the bestest of bestest secret rooms. As for the question of the day today, though, um, a bit of a personal question, but how are you with money? Most people that I know are fucking awful with money. I, I'm I'm pretty good with money, uh, personally. I'm, I'm a decent saver, uh, but a lot of my friends... Not the best with money. Um, a lot of people I know, in general, not the best with money. How are you with money? One of one of my uh, one of the things that I was taught when I was younger and has saved me a lot of debt and potential heartache and problems is um, basically saying if you have to buy it on finance, you and you can't, you're not buying it outright. You can't afford it, so don't buy it. That has saved me a lot. <laughs> Obviously, there is certain things that it's okay to buy on finance, because just due to situations, but the vast majority, people buy, like, fucking PCs and monitors and stuff on um, on finance, and it's just like, no, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> if you can't afford it right now, then you just can't afford it, so you shouldn't buy it. And that's, like, the best advice for, like, saving money that I'll give anyone is just, yeah, don't try and buy something that you can't actually afford. Because the thing is, what if you lose your job and then you've got like a monthly payment coming out that you can't then... Is it then like an excess on top of what you should have been paying? Ooh, we have a token there. 
Token, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I'll, I'll be honest. I haven't decided yet. Turkin, Turkin, Turkin. Um, I'm going to pop in here real quick. Actually, why why on earth would I damage myself and risk my HP when I can bomb myself through here? That's a much smarter option. Soul of Golem. Hello, hello. 50% chance to fire a great tier that leaves behind trailing creep. Player drops to one heart, doesn't matter. And spawns bubbles when entering a room, taking damage spawns bubbles. All of those are a bit meh compared to what we've got going on right now. Right. Let's keep it going. Item roomy, what have you got for me? Oh, yes, baby. Yes. I'm so into it. I am so into it. Hell yes. I love Junkin. He is a beast. This this is now that the entire matrix of this run has changed. Turn all pickups in the room into an equal number. Ooh, that could be useful. Um, I don't really know what room to use it in, mind you, but eventually that'll be useful. The good thing about Junkin is he's a, he's a little bit bugged in a pretty good way. Um, you can bomb shop items even if you haven't bought them. Um... Shops and treasure rooms have a 50% chance to contain a slot machine that changes the room's pool with the corresponding music track. That sounds intriguing. I'll try that. Yeah, that sounds like an intriguing offer to me. Ooh, extra damage there is lovely too. Yeah, and you need to find a right room to use this in and enough enough bombs to make uh, Junkin able to be utilised. Because at the minute we can't bomb any items. That was really stupid of me. Taken care of. We got enough for a devil item here. Should we want it? Ooh, hello. What on earth? Right. Okay. Let's let's just let's just take a take a little look at this here. Quality 4, Trumpet of War. Effect changes each use. First summons Locusts. Second summons Reapers. Third summons Friendly Ultra Death. After that loops back to the first effect. That seems intriguing. I'll take it. Why not? I'm sorry, item, but you are gone now. And I can bomb this to give Junkin a treat. <laughs> He's got a little helmet now, see? Right, let's go. Yeah. I, obviously a debatable idea to to swap out my um my active item, but I've got plenty of ways of getting money at the moment, like through other means, like with my, my sack, it's like going to every other room, so I don't think we need the active too badly. And this Ooh, what the hell? This um Active item I've never seen before, and it seems intriguing to me. And I think considering we've got, like, this land, uh, th these two, uh, this trinket and this item that are going to increase our charge rates, it could be pretty good. I'm also intrigued what it means by spawns ultra death. Does that mean the one from the beast fight? Because I, I honestly am unsure how that works. Is it just going to, like, screech across our screen and destroy everything? I'm unsure. Oh, wow, that is a lot of locusts. I was not expecting it to be quite that many. Certainly not displeased by that, but I was expecting it to be like five or six. Do you know what? I really don't mind this curse as long as it's giving us extra charges. It's working out. Junk, and I see you trying to bomb that, uh, to hit that little fly guy. Right, I've got a copper bomb here. We know it won't explode, but I've got to try it. It did. Haha, -ha, Junkin has a shield now. Yeah, the fact that you can bomb stuff you haven't purchased with Junkin, eh, a <laughs> little bit, a little bit sussy. Okay, so what the hell does this thing do then? don't know what this means. So, 
this 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 vinyl item I, I think I need to have a way of re-rolling the item for it to have any effect, which is a bit a bit meh. It's kind of interesting, but Oh hello. Oh hello. And you guys are gonna stay with me throughout rooms? I guess. Oh wow, these guys seem amazing. This is definitely a quality four active, I see why. So when I spawn Ultra Death, will he stick around? I'm just... I'm, I'm unsure. They're taking care of everything on their own. These guys are handling themselves. Okay, I've got to get Ultra Death ready for the for the boss fight and see, don't I? I've got to shoot him out and see if he uh, absolutely demolishes everything. Okay, so they, they, they don't last forever. Good to know. I didn't think they would, to be fair, but good to know. Right. This is about to be kind of crazy, I think. It literally is the fucking dude from the beast fight, but charmed. My goodness. So how long does he last? He does a good bit of damage. Okay, now I just have to see. He does... He sticks through rooms. This is amazing. Oh my god. This is amazing. He seems to last a decent amount of time too. Okay. We we have dooted do our way into the Hall of Fame here because this is... This is beautiful. The fact that I get a charge for the, for the, for the starting room is great. Because I get charges for rooms that aren't combat rooms now. I got charged for starting the floor. Oh, it's bomb for my secret room there, but my bombs are saved for giving Junkin his sweet, sweet nectar. He needs it. He needs to grow big and strong. Okay, and then it loops back to the start, yeah. T to be fair, every usage of this active is very, very good. This is a, a very, very good active item that I can't believe I've not seen before. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it. Right, I will come back to you, boss, when I uh, when I have my, my doot doot champions. And then 25% chance on any room to get a double charge is just amazing with this. Can you land good, sir? Thank you. An extra penny. We have money flowing to us very, very swiftly, which is really nice. Money just keeps coming. Okay, now I can do this. This this is very much secret room. Ah, uh, that's just evil. That's just not fair. I'm taken care of. Then we pop this. <laughs> it actually did. Oh, dude! Whoa, these guys aren't the same as before. Hello. These guys are not the same guys that we dealt with last time. These are new bros. They seem weaker, actually. <laughs> they, they, well, I won't say weaker. They're definitely less aggressive, though. They're not just getting in on the enemy. Oh, no, I lost HP. What am I going to do? Wait until a penny spawns at the end of the room, maybe? Exactly. Surprisingly, I don't get a charge for, like, walking into my item room and stuff, though. Even though the starting room counts. Hello. It's Scythomania. Well, I already have minus luck, so I'll definitely be popping that for the double golden pennies, thank you. Right. It is time. I know it's risky. I'm going to pop this guy now and see how long he lasts. Can I do a bunch of rooms and then, like, because I've, I've kept these guys around. I want to see if I can have him chilling all the way to the boss, because these guys are sticking around. Right, Arcade, what you got going on for us? Not much. 
Right, let's get out of here. Come along, big boy. See if we can get you to the boss. So far, it very much seems like he's just in for the long haul. This compared to Delirious. <laughs> My god. And what's this? A theme? Yes, please. Great stuff. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, one second. Right, let's keep this moving. This, okay, this guy stayed with us through to the next room. This this active is amazing. Becoming the Duke Duke King. See, this is this is where Isaac has its twists and turns. I was all ready and set to go to um to make the thumbnail and title all about Junkin and make this a full-on Junkin room. Not anymore. That has changed. I'm going to leave some pennies around and try and play the sack room if I can. A theme here is pretty good, even with really, really bad luck. More scythe fellas. This is all going swimmingly. <laughs> the scythes, man. It's a little hard to follow, I'll be honest. It's a little hard to keep your eye on. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up that penny, goddammit. But overall, this is some good stuff. Apart from the scythe pushing enemies about, not being able to keep track of things is a little difficult. The, dude, these scythe guys need to be far more accurate. Um, hold up. I see, I see, I see. I was a little confused for a hot minute there. But I think I got it. There you go. He's immediately destroyed the moment I finished with the floor. Pinch with the buttons. Petrified poop. Not bad. Right, you want to take care of this big boy? He pushes me about when he does that scythe attack. Stop pushing me! This is depths one. Let's get the boss over with while we got our friend. Oh, hello. <laughs> the scythe spawn of theme rings when they get dissipated. Oh, man, that's that's stupid. Right. Good on you, big boy. Good on you. Do a few more rooms, find out item room, whatever that is. We can definitely play a sack room here and hopefully get some good stuff. Yeah, I had a feeling. A rules card. That's just rude. Okay. We got money galore everywhere. Ow. The little explosive fellas are getting me. Right, shop. Reckon there's anything in there. I can't believe he sticks around for like the whole floor after you use it. That's wild. This is good. That's going to be some beefy locusts. We liketh the beefy locusts. Can I spot the question here is can I have two of these guys? <laughs> can I get two of these dudes? That would be madness. How is this room not over? What have you not killed, guys? Seriously, what have you not killed? Oh, there's a host there. Wait, is that not it? Okay, there you go, finally. 
My big boy. He just chillin'. He just straight chillin'. Sissy! Hell yes. Right, we have money literally everywhere. Unfortunately, not much of it is close to the sack room, so there's gonna be quite a bit of back and forth. I'm a little worried that my guy's gonna fucking scythe me and push me directly into the spikes while I'm on 1 HP. I'll be honest, that's a concern right now. Genuine concern, but... I'll leave him to do his business. Yeah, you, you, you push me around. Oh, tears up, lovely. You push me around. You, you, you do your business. Oh my god, push me right through the door. I, I, I do wish that's something that mods would fix. Is when, uh, when you've got something that's charmed, I don't like the fact that it, when there's no enemies in the room, it just targets you as if you're an enemy and keeps hitting you even though it can't deal damage. Oh, hello. What does this do? We've used it before. Chance to shoot a holy flame alongside uh, fired tear. The holy flame deals three times your damage, gives an aura and homing tears. Chance to. Uh, it, it's based on luck, which is not ideal, but otherwise, that's good. Right. It's a good item. I like it. Honestly, there's so much money on this floor I could collect, but do I care? <laughs> we'll, we'll do the, uh, we'll the, the Burtman, though. Why not? I do wish I had higher speed. But yeah, with this guy, with this guy helping us out, I reckon the Burtman stuff shouldn't be too hard, unless it's a, a challenge room, like a obstacle course sort of thing. Hello. Hey, I'm trying to get in that boat, you dick. Hey! Your time will come, big man. Your time will come. I could spawn a second one, but I'm going to save my charge until the next floor. I love the fact that when the scythes die, they uh, they can spawn a theme thingies. That, that, that's kind of crazy. He's just here doing his best. Living his best life. All right, two more to go, big boy. And last one, a lot of bombs I've been given here, which I don't mind for uh, trying to cure my friend. This is a little bit of an awkward one. Yeah. Wait, how do I, how am I meant to do this? Okay, he's dead now at least. Can I get my little aura there? That was kind of tricky, that one. Teleports to an error room. Yes, I'll keep that, thank you. And we get our item. What's it going to be? Oh, right. It's Remembrance of Death. Okay, thank you. Kind of forgot that you can give those. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? We haven't fought our boss, have we? Or have we? I don't remember. I think we have. What was our boss? We have fought our boss. Right. We'll use it straight away, then. Spawns a glitched item. 13 of stars. 13 of stars. Um, that's pretty meh. Other one. Honestly, both of those are just not, not good. <laughs> right. We enter the next floor. We immediately doot. We do, and we spawn daddy. And then after that, life becomes easy. <laughs> life becomes a dream. Because he takes care of us. Good old Ultra Death. Go with that. We do have another sack room here, surprisingly. We will leave some pennies about and try and play that again, because uh, getting a quality 4 item out of the last one kind of spared me on. Oh, 
dude. These white fire things are amazing. Forget how good this item is. So it's, I think it's because I've basically only seen it in the run that I showcased it on, and that was it. A razor, you say? Nah, I'm gonna reroll. Try and get something better. Pot of gold is really good for us. Dude, chill. Magic skin in the shop? Excuse me? Dreadle, not bad. Magic gift. Magic gift? Mystery gift, even. I don't know if putting down this will despawn him, so I'm going to try and do the rooms first. I don't, want, I don't want my boy to despawn. Right, time to do, do even more. Right, we can't do the boss yet. Right, we've got Penny's Galore, Delirious Rune there as well. Still haven't really made a good use out of that Delirious Rune thing yet, because it transforms, doesn't it? Ooh, I will pop that right now. <gasps> Dude, this runs bonkers, man. This runs crazy. <laughs> This run be wild. Uh, also, feed him. Feed my boy. Right, sir. So. One. Two. Three. Four. Got oh, some pennies over there, but I can't reach them. Five, six, seven. That's all, folks. Right, let's go. Oh, man. This has been a wild run. It is boss time now, though. Time for the boss to be demolished by my doot doot. That that should not have hit me. Oh dude, no. Some bad damage there by me. Got a devil deal, good good. I'll take that, thank you. Ah, come on. At least Lump of Coal, though. Coward. When I don't get Lump of Coal, I cry. Right, guess guess what's next, people? Guess what's next? The Doot Doot. Straight up. Summons our friend again. <laughs> we just have him at the start of every floor straight away. It's actually beautiful. It is something to behold. I will say C-sections probably like lowered my DPS. Like I think on bosses it's definitely better, but room to room because I fire rate, I think it's definitely slower. Cause before we were firing more fires and using those to get all the herming and stuff, so. It's a little bit of a DPS downgrade. Hanged man, wow. What kind of already the hanged man? Minus the flight. Lovely. That's a good secret room, but for us, not so much. Right, we'll use our doot doot again. Yeah, the, the lantern battery, whatever it's called, is helping us out a lot. Hello. Can at least get bookworm out of this, right? Yep. Cool. There's too many books to reroll through them until we get normal items. That's not worth it. There's another sack room there, by the way. Let's 
getting a bit ridiculous with the sack rooms now, but... You seriously need to stop swiping me while I'm doing things, my guy. It's gonna... It's gonna get us in a heap of trouble. Damn it. No payout that time either. But yeah, it's gonna get us in a heap of trouble, my guy. You're not gonna like it. Oh, nice. When we're standing in the fire radius, we go hard with our C section. Go, go, go. Another dupe. Why not? Another bunch of friends to add to the group. Oh, dude, even the fame gets herming while I'm in the radius of the fire. That's top tier. The boss stands no chance here. I just can't believe he had to keep ultra fucking dude for the entire floor. It's wild. It's absolutely wild. And guess what? We've got him ready literally again for the next floor straight away. Bit of shot speed increase is not ideal, but oh well. Stab Bethlehem's kind of nice. We'll take that. Stab Bethlehem's kind of one of those ones that I don't use a hell of a lot though, but it's just kind of, yeah, it's nice to have. It gives me a general idea of which way to go at the start of the floor. And then maybe it'll catch up to me if I end up faffing around. But on the woman stuff, I go so fast that it generally doesn't matter. Another library? Saka Pennies is god tier as this character. My god. Oh, dude, nice. Book of Virtues. I was not expecting that. I don't think we'll get any special wisps with this, to be honest, because it's a modded item. Most of them don't have specific wisps, but we'll see. Yeah, it's just a regular one. I thought it would be. Right. Pretty much insta-death to you, good sir. And, yeah, the look, Star of Bethlehem just catches up the moment we kill her. Okay, I already went the wrong way here, so I need to turn around. Star, you tell me the right way, and for some reason I ignore you. I'm just not used to having it, I guess. The lovers. Where's Big Daddy? Still one more charge for Big Daddy. We didn't get it in this floor. A shame, a real shame. The boss shouldn't be too hard even without him though, I don't think. Plenty of scythe boys and C-section. I think makes for a, a pretty simple boss fight to be honest. Kinda wish those fires wouldn't hit him though so I could send in their radius. Star Bethlehem's here though. Star Bethlehem's here to help. Hey, there you go. Right, last floor of this absolute insanity. And guess who's back, baby? Guess who's back? <laughs> He's here to save the day. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I did not look which way Star of Bethlehem went. That was my mistake, very much so. Oh, wait, no, it is coming this way. Oh, wait, no, is it? No, I'm stupid. Where the hell did it go? I wasn't paying any attention. I don't know if it went this way either. It did not come this way. Damn it, I'm stupid. 
Holy shit, I forget how far these guys can throw their goddamn heads. It must have been this way then. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. I caught up eventually. Ultra Death, you do your thing. He just be chilling. See, now we're ahead of Star of Bethlehem, which isn't ideal. We could wait for it, but I have no patience. More little fellas. Oh my god. They all sit, but there's no poop left. Can we spawn a second Ultra Death for the fight is the question. That is the question on everyone's mind right now, isn't it? The knowledge we all need. Ultra Death 2, Electric Boogaloo, we find out this room. That's one. Ah, it looks like we still only have one. How dare they? How dare they not let us have two? Cool. Boss fight time. I'm sure wait for the Star of Bethlehem to get here, actually, before we hop in. Just makes a lot more sense to utilize that fully. Right, there you go. Gives us a 50% 50, 50 chance to not take damage from projectiles. The fire rate, the herming. Just gives us a lot of stuff to go on. The herming's not super useful for us because we've got C-section, but it makes a Thame Herm, which I like. There's a lot more damage when it does. And the 50% damage reduction thing is very, very good too. But there you go. You're dead. I hope you enjoyed Ultra Death and Junkin, the dream team that you've ever seen. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.